you mentioned that the bowl games um what was it like to to appear in in new year's six bowl games yeah it was neat because you know you get gifts and money <laughs> <laughs> and um <clears throat> you know and and I didn't play at LSU or Alabama, so I wasn't getting money under the table. But I'm kidding. I'm totally kidding. But, but you know, yeah, it was neat. Like, so the first one was a Cotton Bowl after that 98 season. Yeah. And uh, I just remember, you like, growing up watching the TV show Dallas. Right. And in the yep. intro to the TV show Dallas, they have a shot where the helicopter's flying around that big hotel in downtown Dallas with the 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 mirrored side. Right. Well, we stayed in that hotel. So as we're going up to them, I'm like, hey, wait a minute. We're staying in the hotel from Dallas. They're like, yeah, we're in Dallas. No, 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 the TV show Dallas. So that was neat. And quite literally, like I could look out my hotel window and right across the street was the school book depository and an X on the street where, you know, JFK was shot. Yeah. yeah. And all this was neat. It's first experience for us to do the bowl game thing. And, and on top of that, like we got to our rooms and on the bed was this big pile of gifts, bowl gifts, you know, all of our swag, you know, the the shoes and the outfits and all those things. Um, that was neat. And then the senior year, uh, you know, we played Clemson in the Peach Bowl and in the Atlanta, which is a short trip. And our family was there. And, and, you know, we spent a week there going through all the activities. And, of course, you know, both of those two were getting to go practice in NFL stadiums. When we went to the Cotton Bowl, we practiced a few times in the Cowboys stadium and uh, Arlington, I guess. And so we were using the Cowboys locker room to get dressed. And there's like Deion Sanders and Troy Aikman and their names on the lockers, you know. And uh, similar thing with the Georgia Dome the next year. So all those things are stuff that, um, you know, the, the stuff outside the actual ball games was really cool. Yeah. Yeah, um, and, and certainly with with that that Cotton Bowl appearance, um, what, what was it like, sort of, being across the field from uh, and watching Ricky Williams and, and coming off his Heisman win? Ricky Williams was dominant uh, that day. He was just like a, I don't know. I mean, I I'm sta I'm on offense, so I'm standing there watching our poor guys try to tackle him, and uh, he he quite literally hurt. I guess it was two of our defensive players just by running over him. Wow. Um, and, and he was so thick. And he, when he would run full speed, you know, his center of gravity was so low. It's like his butt was literally a foot and a half off the ground. And he's running full speed and his thighs were this big. I'm like, how are you supposed to tackle that? You can't tackle that. Yeah. And <clears throat> so it was, it was something to watch him. And they, they were, they were, you know, maybe a better team than us overall, but, but I will say, and it sounds like an excuse, but we had played in the SEC title game against Tennessee, and we had a lead against Tennessee in the fourth quarter. And then, of course, they throw the touchdown pass to Peerless Price to take the lead and beat us in the fourth quarter. They go on and win the national championship. And for us, and, and people don't really understand this, but sometimes, but in this league, in the SEC, if you get to that game, the SEC title game, and lose it, it is incredibly difficult to get interested in playing another game against somebody else. Mm -hmm.